Hey, it's Matthew Berry from ESPN, and you're watching fanaticsview.com. I would go Ezekiel Elliott. I have him at number three overall. I have Le'Veon Bell at one, just slightly ahead of David Johnson. It's no disrespect to David Johnson, who I think is an amazing football player. At that level, you have to nitpick. And I'm just, I have a little bit more confidence in the Steelers' offense than I do in the Cardinals' offense. But I think both guys are rock stars, and either one would be great at the top of your draft. It certainly affects um, how you evaluate players, PPR versus standard, but uh, I don't have a preference. I like all forms of fantasy. I've played in two quarterback leagues, I've played in dynasty leagues, I've played in eight team leagues, I've played in 16 team leagues, PPR, half point PPR, like, love it all. Uh, Antonio Brown, Odell Beckham Jr., and then I have Mike Evans at three. Yeah, over Julio, which is controversial. My, my concern on Julio isn't talent, obviously, but health has always been an issue with him. The touchdown rate has never been there. He's never been a huge touchdown guy. And Evans, I think the addition of Deshaun Jackson to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers offense only opens things up more for Mike Evans. They've never had a speed guy like Deshaun Jackson that will take some of the defense with him. You have to account for him. And so I just think the middle is going to just open up in a huge way for Evans, who, again, is a huge red zone target. I like Evans to have a big year. Uh, first run's a little bit too early for me to take a quarterback. Yeah, I'm a wait on a quarterback guy, but I have Rodgers and Brady at the top of my quarterback board. Love auctions. Yeah. Love auctions. It's, it's checkers compared to chess, Absolutely. frankly. Uh, <laughs> well, um, St dr stand drafting versus auction. Auction is, is uh, the truer test of skill, in my opinion. I'm usually in double-digit leagues. And obviously, I mock draft a ton on ESPN.com, so uh, it keeps me busy. You know what? I've never played an IDP league. I'm not a huge IDP guy. Uh, it's a very small percentage of our audience at ESPN.com, so it's not something I focus on in terms of what they need me to do. Uh, but I'm a big believer in whatever rules you enjoy is what you should play. Like, people sometimes like, ah, eight team leagues. I'm like, if you enjoy it, like, who cares? Like, again, fantasy is about having fun. And so, uh, as long as everyone agrees to the rules, I don't think it really matters what they are. <laughs>